Adverts for plastic surgery shown during Love Island are adding to young people's insecurities and should be pulled. The Mental Health Foundation believes. Photo ITV Katie Grant 53 minutes Monday, July 2nd, 2018. ITV is capitalizing on young people's insecurities for commercial gain by strategically placing adverts for plastic surgery during the breaks on Love Island, a mental health charity has claimed. Love Island is a major ratings winner for ITV2, attracting millions of viewers six evenings a week. The program airs at 9 p.m., but viewing figures from the broadcaster's audience research board show 175,000 under 15s make up the audience, with over 10%, 22,000, of this group comprising children aged only 7 or under. Now ITV is facing mounting pressure to pull lucrative adverts promoting breast augmentation and other cosmetic procedures aired during the show. Capitalizing on young people's insecurities The Mental Health Foundation, MHF, has written to ITV CEO Carolyn McCall and the Culture Secretary Matt Hancock describing the adverts as unacceptable and demanding they be pulled. Strategically placing cosmetic surgery adverts during programs that target young adults and paint a false picture of perfection is not only patronizing but is adding to young people's insecurities and contributing to distress among vulnerable people, the letter states. We believe that pressure around body image is a root cause of mental ill health in young people, capitalizing on our young people's insecurities for commercial gain is wholly unacceptable. That's why we are urging you to take action and prohibit the advertising of cosmetic surgery alongside TV programs that are watched by millions of young people every year, it adds. Too much pressure Simon Stevens, CEO of NHS England, has also criticized the explicit ads aimed at feature during the breaks on Love Island. Speaking on the BBC's Andrew Marshall at the weekend Mr. Stevens said, the time has come to think long and hard about whether we should be exposing young people to those kinds of pressures. Nearly half, 47%, of people aged age at 18 to 24 have felt so stressed by their body image and appearance that they have felt overwhelmed or unable to cope, according to an MHF report published in May. Surgeons call for ad ban The British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons BAAPS, has called for a full ban on advertising for plastic surgery. Former President and Plastic Surgeon Douglas McGeorge told the BBC it was inappropriate and opportunistic to show such ads to under-18s. ITV, we didn't break rules A spokesperson for ITV said, ITV takes its responsibility to viewers very seriously and ensures adverts broadcast during our programs adhere to the The UK Code of Broadcast Advertising's rules on the content and scheduling of advertising. MYA, one of the cosmetic surgery firms whose adverts have featured during the program, said in a statement, we see Love Island as an adult-focused show with adult content. Read more Love Island's failure to reflect the diverse bodies of the UK needs to change Love Island isn't exactly body positive, but the ads accompanying it are sinister Susie Dent. Love Island proves that the language of love is constantly evolving at kt underscore grant inews https colon slash slash inews.co.uk.